We just, you know, we had adversity there, and we had to keep keep fighting, keep swinging. You know, it wasn't pretty, pretty much the whole game, but um, relied on each other. We had faith in each other, and we came out on top. Playing with that faith, was there any doubt for you guys? It seemed like it was pretty bleak there. Huh? At any point, did you guys think it's not it's not the night? No, with with me, yeah, there's no, there's never no there's never no bleak. You know, uh, every opportunity we get on the field is, a, is an opportunity to go win a game, and um, it was it was a tough one, but we wanted it tough as good, and. Um, yep. Help us out a lot. Dwayne, what, what was said, if anything, before the last possession? And what was just kind of the, the feeling in, in, the, in the huddle when you were gathering before that possession? You know, uh, it's kind of hard to prepare for moments like that. And uh, we do a lot of, with Coach Mick and conditioning and, and lifting. And we try to, you know, simulate those those hard moments. But um, all we just said is that we love each other. You know, whatever happens, happens. You know, we're going to put it all in line for one another. And uh, we did that. Go ahead. It looked like, looked like receivers had some trouble catching balls tonight. It looked like you had some trouble throwing some accurate passes tonight. They were on you pretty good. But uh, what just kind of came together there in the fourth quarter in the late going? Obviously, the pass to Ben Victor mm -hmm. was huge. Uh, but what just kind of came together with you guys and you and the wide receivers? Well, they weren't going to let us throw the ball downfield, and that's pretty evident the whole game. Uh, they sent a lot of pressure, and um, you know, I missed a couple of throws. Yeah, they didn't have some great protection on some plays. But um, just uh, – Coach Day said a play has to be made in the fourth quarter. And uh, this Coach Mick said to us that last drive, I remember last year we played Penn State at home. So uh, that was a memory we had going into the, that last drive. I know I know the winning touchdown is a big play, obviously, that wins the game. But the Ben Victor play, what, mm -hmm. what did you see there? And what do you think of Ben Victor today? Oh, he did a great job. On that play, I look back, and I'm, we, if we got a certain pressure, which we did get that pressure, we're going to change the play. I look back, and Coach Day's like, OK, run it. I see it coming. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So. Mm -hmm. I snapped the ball, I seen it coming, I pulled up, and um, I just seen Ben, and I was like, I got to make a play, and he made a hell of a play for me. Hey, Dwayne, that was the biggest catch of his career at mm -hmm. Ohio State. When you put a ball where you put it, where he has to go up and get it, I think that's been the vision of what he was supposed to do his entire career. Do you have, how much confidence do you have in a guy that really hasn't made a play like that? And, you know, is it just crazy to think that that's when it happened? I mean, Ben does it all the time in practice. He's a freaky athlete. You know, every Sunday we work on two-minute drill and, like, you know, situations like that. And uh, he makes those catches every day. So um, this is the time for him to do it in the game, and he really came up big. KJ, when, was was okay. was when the, you guys were trying to figure out, obviously you said they weren't going to let you throw the ball down the field. Mm -hmm. You guys found some stuff late in the screen game and some of the shorter passes. Just what's it like when you're trying to figure out what's going to work? Because in the fourth quarter you guys figured out what was going to work. What was that conversation like? Yeah, I mean, it definitely was difficult because we seen what we were getting, and we were trying to get certain looks, trying to get certain plays that would go against the coverages that we were seeing, and um, it wasn't really working. And um, it took us some few, you know, drives, a few plays, a few different calls to see what would work, and um, you know, it came together in the fourth quarter. Well, the way the, the, the touchdown to Dobbins right before half gives you a little bit of a lift, and you come out second half, what guns blazing? What, what changed uh, after kind of an ineffective first half, and then you? Like, hey, different team. Yeah, I mean, kind of what happened versus TCU when we played them, we weren't really moving the ball the way we wanted to. You know, we weren't coming up big on third downs. And um, Jacob made a great play before halftime, you know, gave us some momentum going into the second half. And we got the ball and um, we drove down the field. But, uh, you know, this credit to how, how great our offense is and how much we rely on each other to make plays. Just one thing on that like Sorley, you, you played, you admired him in high school coming up, the three state championships in Virginia. What was it like kind of dueling him? He gets uh, 450 yards total offense tonight. Well, everything that I was expected. You know, he's a hell of a player, fierce competitor. He makes a lot of plays, and he, he gave us gave us a lot of fits today. But I'm um, glad we came out with the W. When you talk about how you're always a forward thinker, mm -hmm. and obviously this game has a lot to do with how the season's going to pan out. When you're down by two scores late in the fourth quarter, do you think forward about what is at stake in the game, and how do you feel like you perform when you're back against the wall? Well, when you play in the game, you want to, you know, keep your mindset on that game. And um, the thing for me was just, you know, trying to do everything I could to win the game. I wasn't thinking about next week or, you know, whatever the case may be if we were to lose a game. But, um, you know, just the biggest focus was just, you know, trying to score when we can and then try to, you know, come up big and, you know, we needed it. Last question. You were so poised. You've been so poised through the first couple of games. And you started off, it was a little shaky. How much of that was the environment? How much of it was what the defense was doing? And then you got together. What was going on early in terms of the way you were playing? 
the environment wasn't really stressful. Um, I probably would just say that we weren't, you know, moving the ball we, we wanted to. And, you know, that, that slows things down on offense. But, um, you know, uh, I thought we did a good job recovering when we needed it. Cool. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Good.